Hello and welcome to Infinity. You know, the fill layer had me puzzled for a while, but now I think I've, I've figured it. Uh, and in particular, it's about the masking. That's the one that, that got me. The basic fill layer is simply quite straightforward. You go to the layer and say new fill layer. And you get a layer on top here. It says fill and it's whatever color is the primary color up here. I can change it here or I can go up here and the same thing. I can change it to whatever color I like. So what you can do with that is you can do things. You can turn down the opacity to put a bit of color into things, or you can use blend modes. Often a nice one is the soft light and play with the opacity of that as well. However, what you can also do is you can do a, a mask and, and masking is, is you think, okay, let's, put a mask on it from here, click on the mask, and then let's go to a paintbrush here, and then we can paint over here, and we paint in black on top of it, and it pokes a hole. And if I change that to white, I can paint back again. So that's all well and good. However, I don't need to do that because there's a built-in mask. The confusing thing is it doesn't show you. So that painting in black, here with a brush, exactly the same effect, exactly the same as if there is a mask there, which there is, but it's hidden. And again, I can go to white and paint it back again. So just like an ordinary mask. What I can do as well with that, if I delete that, I can do things like I can go to the selection brush here. I could select the lighthouse here. And then because I've got a selection here, when I put a layer on, it's the same as putting on a mask. So I go to layer, new fill layer, and this is immediately filled in just that area. And it's simply because this has the mask here. I can also hit alt click that, and that will show me that mask on a layer by itself. So you can then just go ahead and do the normal things you might do is turn this right down and just to give it a little bit of tint or uh, whatever you want to do with it. But that's it. It is simply the thing is if you understand masks, which I assume you do for this video, then it's just there's a hidden mask on the fill layer. You just paint on it like you might do, say, with curves or something like that. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.